Hello friends, welcome to the world of ethical hacking. In this course, I am going to teach you ethical hacking. By the end of it, you will be at a high intermediate level. So, we will start by teaching you how to set up a pen twisting lab and how to install the needed software so you can practice hacking safely. Once done, the course is divided into four main pen twisting types network hacking, gaining access, post exploitation, and website hacking. The first is network hacking section where you learn how network works and how devices communicate with each other and how to exploit this method of communication to control all the connection around you. Crack the Wi-Fi keys and gain access to Wi-Fi networks whether they use WEP, WPA or WPA2 and intercept data to capture usernames, password, chat messages or anything that anybody does on the same network. Once done with this, we will move to the gaining access section where you learn how to gain access to servers and personal computers. So first, you will learn how to gather comprehensive information about your target, discover vulnerabilities and exploit them to gain full control over the target system. Not only that, but you will also learn how to generate undetectable backdoors and use social engineering to deliver them. You will also learn how to spoof emails so when they are delivered to your target, they appear as if they are sent from a friend, from their boss or from any address that they are likely to interact with. Once done with all of this, we will move to the post exploitation section where you will learn what can you do with the access that you gain in the previous sections. So you will learn how to interact with the file system and how to execute system commands, record keystrokes, open the webcams and even use the hacked computer as a pivot to hack into other computers. Once done with all of this, we will move to the website hacking section where you will learn how website works, how to get the comprehensive information about your target website and how to discover and exploit a number of dangerous vulnerabilities that allows you to gain a full control over the target website. At the end of each section, you will learn how to secure systems and secure yourself from discuss attack. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of the ethical hacking. We will explore what hacking is, the different types of hackers and why ethical hacking is crucial industry. Now we will move to what is hacking. Hacking is the act of gaining unauthorized access to the computer system or networks. It involves exploiting security vulnerabilities to bypass defenses. Allowing the hackers to take control. This can lead to data theft, service disruption, or even more malicious activities. Not all hackers are the same. We categorize them into three main types black hat hacker, white hat hacker, and gray hat hacker. Now we will discuss about black hat hacker. Black hat hacker are the bad guys. They illegally hack system to steal money, disrupt service, or achieve other illegal goals. Their actions are purely malicious. Example, a notorious black hat hacking group known as Reveal was responsible for large-scale ransomware attack in 2021. Targeting companies worldwide, they encrypted data and demanded millions of the dollars in ransom, showing how dangerous and disruptive black hat hackers can be. White hat hackers White hat hackers use the same technique as black hat, uh, but there are key differences. They have permission. These ethical hackers test system security to protect against future attacks. Their goal is to improve defense, not break them. In real life example, 2016, a white hat hacker named Anand Prakash discovered a major security flaw in Facebook's login process that could allow attackers to take over accounts. Instead of exploiting it, he reported it to Facebook, which is earned him a 10,000 US dollar reward. Uh, gray hat hackers, gray hat hackers sit between the two. They may hack into the system without permission, but they don't have malicious intent. Instead, they often inform the system's administrator of the vulnerabilities. They find they are like ethical hackers, but they don't always follow the rules. Now one big question that people always ask why hacking? So the hacking industry is huge and ethical hacking in particular is growing rapidly. There is a high demand for skilled professionals 
who can secure systems and protect sensitive data. By becoming an ethical hacker, you are not just a finding vulnerabilities, you are helping to secure the digital world. There is actual a huge demand for ethical hackers these days because of the increased amount of hacking attacks. Thank you and see you in the next video.